Let's connect the TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender via WPS. This model is called TLWA850RE and honestly pronouncing it is harder than setting it up using WPS. So first of all, plug the extender into a power outlet next to your router uh, and wait for the power indicator to stop blinking and start glowing solid blue together with the wireless indicator. Make sure that your router is broadcasting Wi-Fi at this very moment and connect it to the internet. Uh, then press the WPS button on the router, usually it's somewhere uh, on the front panel or on the back panel, uh, like on my router, or if you don't have the physical WPS button, maybe you can find it in your router's settings uh, in your browser or web application, it uh, depends on your uh, rotors model. So press the WPS button anyways and then within two minutes press the big round button with the padlock icon on the extender. Now you see that the RE indicator started blinking. RE stands for range extender. The process is underway and what you need to see now you need to see uh, the indicator lights up completely blue in a circle. So uh, the other lights indicate the signal strength. Since we are close to the rotor right now, the signal is at its maximum. So you need to see the full circle. Uh, except the Ethernet indicator, of course, because Ethernet is the wired connection. We are not connected by the wire now, so Ethernet indicator will be empty. That's it, we have the Wi-Fi signal now, we are connected to the internet and let's take any of our Wi-Fi gadgets and check this. My main network is named My Wi-Fi and I have two bands, 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz. But this is the single band extender, so it extends the 2.4 GHz uh, network only. So uh, you can see it here, uh, the name is the same as for your main network but with EXT. Uh, add it to the end, EXT stands for extender. Let's connect to this network. Uh, successful, we are connected, so now you can just relocate your extender between your router and Wi-Fi dead zone. But make sure that the extender is still in the router's range and the signal indicator uh, can help you with this. If the signal is too weak, for example, you have this, just only one section here, uh, you need to relocate the rotor closer, uh, extend, you, you need to relocate the extender closer to the rotor. And that's it, you're all set, hope this was helpful, thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and be awesome. Bye guys.